All right, so you wanna start making a little bit of extra money from home and clothes seem like an easy way to do it and you would be right. Um, clothes, everybody needs clothes, everybody wears clothes. And a lot of us are really starting to focus on shopping secondhand, which I absolutely love because I try to be as um, low waste and eco-friendly as possible. So we personally at our house try to buy everything secondhand if we can. Um, so I love that the trend is kind of going in that direction. So selling clothes online is a great way to make extra money from home. So today I'm just gonna give you some tips for selling clothes online for extra money. Um, you can sell on a bunch of different platforms. There's eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Um, there's another, there's a lot of other platforms out there if you look for them, but those are the three main ones that I look at. If you sell vintage, you can also sell on Etsy. Um, so let's just get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean out your own closet, see what you have that you don't want anymore um, that might be selling online for a good amount of money and just clean out your closet and see what you have. Um, make a nice pile and move to the next step. So the first thing you wanna do after you clean out your closet, um, if you find some stuff, is do some research. Um, look up your items on eBay or on Poshmark. I'll have my Poshmark referral code down below so you can get a credit on your first purchase on Poshmark if you're interested. Um, and just look it up, search um, similar words, it search the brand, search what kind of item it is, like a sweater, a, swe a sweater, a top, jeans, whatever, um, and see what those items are selling for. See if they're even really selling at all. Um, and see what kind of money you can get for it. Next is figuring out how to price. During that research, you should be able to see what items are selling for, and you need to figure out for yourself what's worth your time. Is it worth for you? Is it worth your time to photograph and list an item that you're gonna sell for five bucks, 10 bucks, 15, 20? Um, when you're first getting started, um, it might be a better idea to have your minimum sale amount be a little bit lower while you get things built up. Um, but if you are really crunched on time and it's just not worth it, maybe you want to only sell things for 20 or 30 bucks. It's really up to you. One great thing that you can do if you're a little bit handy with like a needle and thread or you're like a pro at getting stains out is to rehab flawed items. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the thrift store to buy stuff and I come home with something flawed. So if you are also going to the thrift store and you're finding things that are flawed, Maybe you can grab those items if it's a good brand or a good style and rehab them to sell online. One thing you wanna figure out is where you want to sell. I recommend eBay and Poshmark for the most part because that is the easiest place, those are the easiest places for me to personally sell clothing online. Um, Mercari is also a good option, although I find that the sales aren't quite as great there. Um, so figure out where you wanna sell. eBay is going to have way more people um, and you're probably gonna sell the item faster there depending on the item but they do have fees up front for listing. So if you wanna start for no money up front and not have to pay for listing, um, go ahead and if you list on Poshmark, it's a 20% fee after the item is sold. So you can list as many items as you want and you won't pay anything until it sells. Once you start selling, you wanna make sure that you have some sort of organizational system, um, unless you're just selling like three or five things. Once you get to 10 or 20 things, it's really important to keep those items organized. Um, whether you just pick a spot in your closet where you keep all the stuff that's for sale whether you grab like a bin, a plastic bin from Target and throw them all in there, have some sort of organizational system because I promise you, you will lose something. Even if you try not to, you will lose something. I've done it too many times, it happens. So the more organized you can say, the less likely it is you're gonna lose something and having to refund someone because you can't find an item is literally the worst. I did a video on how we organize our items, which I will link to down below and I'll also put a card up here next to my face. And I also have an inventory spreadsheet that's free. If you wanna go ahead and um, download the instructions for that, I will link to that down below so you can check that out. Make sure you take amazing photos. Okay, you don't have to take like amazing photos. You're selling something for 10 or 15 or $20, but if you have a phone with a camera on it and a bright window and a clear background, you can take pretty good pictures. It's pretty funny the pictures that people put up sometimes where you can barely see the item. Just make sure you have a brightly lit area, not too bright so that the item is washed out, a bright area um, with no clutter in the background, preferably. And you can showcase the item really well, show the front, show the back, show the tags, and show uh, details if there are buttons or anything like that, show details, show a close-up of the fabric, and any flaws. So just make sure you take good pictures. People wanna see what they're buying and the more clearly you show that, the more likely they are going to buy something with confidence from you. Don't forget that there are also apps out there. So if your bedroom where you're taking pictures isn't that bright, you can also download some apps. Um, I actually often 
just use the editor in my iPhone to brighten my pictures, but also Snapseed and PicTapGo are both great editing apps that I think are free still. Remember to please be honest. There is nothing worse than buying something online and getting it and finding out there's a terrible flaw and it, you don't want it. So always be honest about the condition of items, point out any flaws, even if they're really tiny. Um, you don't wanna sell something to someone and be misleading, not cool. When you're listing items, you use search friendly words. So when you list something, don't just say pink top. I mean, some people might be searching for a pink top, but they're probably looking for a specific brand or specific style. Um, instead do free people, pink, tunic, sleeveless. Those are all words that people would search for when they're looking for something. Um, so just in your head, pretend you're the buyer and say, how would I be searching for this online if I wanted to purchase it? And use those words in the title and the description of your item. And my last tip is to only buy what's selling. Once you've sold the stuff from your closet and you're reinvesting um, and you want to continue to making be making a little bit extra money online, make sure that when you're buying things to sell, you're only buying stuff that's actually selling. Go do that research. Go on eBay, go on Poshmark and look through the sold items. Um, search for that item, look through the sold items and make sure that the item that you're purchasing is actually selling. Um, don't waste your time on stuff that you're hoping you can sell or that you personally like that might not be selling. Just do the research, don't waste your money on stuff that's not selling. So selling clothes online is a great way to make money. A lot of people will tell you that it's so saturated and you can't make money, but you know what? People are still buying clothes. People need clothes and they're going to buy them on eBay, on Poshmark, on Mercari. You just need to make sure that you buy good stuff, optimize your listings so that people can find them, have good pictures, and you'll sell stuff. So um, don't tell, let anybody tell you that selling clothes is dead. Maybe you can't make as much as you used to be able to. Maybe the sales aren't as great as whatever people were used to in the past, but you can still sell clothes online because people are still buying clothes online. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any other tips for selling clothes, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Um, hit that um, thumbs up button and let YouTube know that this is a good video and that it should they should show it to other people who are searching for similar content. And hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.